What's up everyone, Lane Whitaker here from Grind City Media, and I asked on Twitter, what do you guys wanna learn how to make at home? The resounding winner was macaroni and cheese. And look, you don't have to make mac and cheese out of a box. You can make it at home with fresh ingredients. It's gonna be better than it from the box and it's gonna be almost as easy. I'll show you the quick and easy way to do it at home. This is Cook with Lang. Let's make mac and cheese together. Today we are making macaroni and cheese with bacon. If you wanna make macaroni and cheese, you need macaroni or some sort of pasta. The key to it is finding a pasta that has holes in it where the cheese sauce is gonna go up in there. When you bite the pasta, you get some cheese sauce and the pasta. This is some penne pasta. I've got it cooking now. It's gonna cook until it's about two minutes short of being done, whatever it says on the package. We're gonna pull it out, drain it, set it aside, and then we're gonna focus on our cheese sauce. Let's talk about cheese. The fun part about making macaroni and cheese at home is you can use whatever kind of cheeses you like. I've got a cheddar and a mozzarella, and I'm gonna shred these guys on a box grater on the biggest holes. I'll need about two cups of each one, and this way you do it yourself. You control what kind of cheese you're going, you can mix and match whatever you like, and it's easy to do. One more trick for our cheese sauce is I'm gonna use a red onion, but instead of chopping it up or slicing it, I'm gonna grate it on the same box grater on the small holes, and it's gonna kind of melt it into almost red onion liquid. As you see here, we get a pile of that. It doesn't look like much, it has so much flavor, and when it goes in there, it doesn't uh, give you bites of it along the way, it just melts into the sauce and gives it a great flavor. I just added three tablespoons of butter to this Dutch oven here, and we're gonna melt that down, and then we're gonna add flour, and that's gonna be what's called a roux. We're gonna let that cook a little bit, and that's gonna be the base for our cheese sauce. Flour's in there, you can see the color, it's almost like a peanut butter maybe. We don't want it to get really dark, so I'm gonna start adding in milk. Use a whisk. If you don't, you're gonna have a lumpy cheese sauce. Nobody likes lumpy cheese sauce. So we're gonna use a whisk, a little bit at a time, add some milk. You can see how thick it is already. I've got four cups of milk. Turn the heat to about medium. I'm just gonna keep adding in milk, a little bit at a time, it's cold milk. It's not gonna be this thick when we get to the end of it. But it needs to cook out a little bit. Flour can taste kind of raw if you don't cook it. So this is gonna help get rid of that raw flavor. All right, our milk is bubbling away. You can see that. You gotta be really careful with this because as soon as it comes to a boil, if you're not watching the heat, it's gonna erupt like a volcano. So I've got the heat already on medium. We're gonna keep it down low. Two things I'm gonna add now that are really gonna help out the flavor. One, that red onion that we grated earlier is gonna go in. And then about a teaspoon of mustard powder. This is mustard seeds that have been ground up. It doesn't really make it taste like mustard, but it helps kind of cut through the fatty flavor of the milk and the cheese and all that stuff. All right, got it going here now. It's really only one more thing to add. I can smell that onion and the mustard powder already. It's one more We're gonna add cheese. I'm gonna take a handful of the cheddar and kind of work that in. Just go a little slowly. I'm gonna turn the heat down even to low. You can feel it's getting thicker. It's gonna keep getting thicker as this cooks and the water cooks out of it. There's some more. We're getting to the mozzarella now. The mozzarella is gonna be really gooey and stretchy. I haven't added any salt or pepper because I want to see how it's going to taste once this gets in there, once this melts. Then we'll deal with seasoning and a couple other little bonus flavors we're going to add to this. I'm going to add some black pepper because pepper and macaroni and cheese is awesome. I'm not going to add any salt because the cheese was salty enough. Then we're going to add something else that has some salt. Bacon. Like if you have a chance to add bacon to anything, you take that chance. This is uh, five strips of bacon that I cooked and then crumbled up into little pieces. So you're gonna get little bites of bacon throughout. I'm also gonna throw in some thyme. I'm just gonna use my hands and just pull this right off the stems. Give it a little bit of an herby flavor. That's probably about a teaspoon of thyme. Last thing, this pasta is going in. I'm gonna drop it in, use a spatula to mix this all to combine. Make sure it's 
sure all the holes in our pasta get filled up with the cheese sauce. In the meantime, I've got this oven heated up to 425. Remember, the pasta is not quite cooked all the way through, so it's going to go in the oven just a little bit, and we're going to finish it in the oven. We're also going to make a little crunch for the top of this thing. Last thing before we go in the oven, I put our mac and cheese in a 9x9 baking pan, and now we're going to make sure the top gets a little bit of love, too. These are panko breadcrumbs. You can use any kind of breadcrumbs you can find at the store. We're going to put a little layer of these across the top that are going to get nice and crispy in the oven. I'd say this is probably about half a cup of them. Um, and then the other thing we're going to do is Parmesan cheese, which is going to get nice and melty in there also. So oven remembers at 425, I'm going to put aluminum foil over the top of this, put it in there for about 15 minutes, take the aluminum foil off for like the last 10 minutes, keep an eye on it, and then we will be ready We're ready to eat. You can see the cheese and the breadcrumbs on top. Got nice and brown in the oven. I want a bite. It was so good, the fork didn't want to come out of my mouth. That topping is so good. It gives it a great texture. Pasta's cooked perfectly. You get a little onion mustard flavor in the background. The cheese is delicious. Cheddar and mozzarella. We make mac and cheese from scratch. You don't have to use a box or the microwave or all those other things. Do it from scratch, it's delicious. I made it, you can make it, let's do it together. This is Cooking with Lane.